No, of course not. And that's why we're going in here, as we have been doing at Westminster, to make the case for pay parity for our healthcare workers, nurses, doctors, auxiliary staff, our teachers, our police officers, our civil servants. We've been making that case. The Stormont doesn't have the money. We're facing an overspend this year. We need to deal with that. We need to get the money that enables us to make uh, a fair pay award to all our public sector workers. Our public sector workers, a decent pay saying, award. And when that's I, the reality. When I, when I, I think. Think. to spend your day by challenging a day as this been for the party and for you personally. I think it's been a devastating revelation and has caused tremendous shock not just for myself personally or my colleagues within the DUP but for the community right across Northern Ireland it came as a great shock um, but we are a party and individuals that believe in justice we have faith in our criminal justice system uh, and so in the coming days and months, I think it is important that none of us say anything or act in any way uh, that would seek to prejudice what is now an ongoing criminal investigation. Everybody. In, in, in. In, in, in. 